So you clicked on the link because you want to know more about schools in the Denver area. Well, stay tuned. This is where Lori and I got our roots. Kaylee's trying to learn working. the ukulele. We used to play the ukulele <laughs> together. I think playing is the wrong word, but we used to try <laughs> to, we thought it would be fun. So anyways, we're going to tell you all about schools today. If you have kiddos and you're moving to Denver, this is the video for you. Colorado's finest here in Denver, Colorado, and we are one of your top real estate groups here in the Denver area. And if it's your first time to our channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button or the bell as we put out a ton of new content, typically on Tuesdays and Thursdays, all about Denver moving to air, moving to Denver, and what that looks like. Um, so reach out to us anytime. It's us that you get. Um, it comes directly to us. Give us a call. Give us a text. We love it. We love making these videos, but we love making Denver your home even more. So 720-438-4181. First, I think Lori and I are very good resources for this topic. Um, Lori and I are each mothers. We each have three children, and that's a lot of kids in a lot of different schools. For two years, I've had one kid in elementary, one kid in middle school, and one kid in high school. And um, Lori and I actually coffee. used to work in schools before yeah. real estate. That's actually how we met each other. A strong appreciation for educators and what they do mm -hmm. and how hard they work and yes. for how underpaid they are. So, but we, you know, we have kids in the uh, schools and we know what's important. We know that that's like, well, and, I don't know what I'm trying and to say. their whole <laughs> school journey, I think sometimes when you're a new parent and like schools are a big deal, you're looking at all these websites, they're great for like test score whatnot but I think a huge part to a school is the culture of the school there's um, different programs when they get to higher levels like high school that maybe would be um, appealing to certain students there's IB programs and AP programs and they what it comes down to is they get credits towards college credits for taking those types of classes in high school and Lori knows all about that she was a college and career counselor right um, but I think a huge deal is the culture of the school. What types of um, behavior programs do they have? If you have a child with an IEP or special needs, who has the best support for that? Right. And it's not always just a straight answer, um, you know, it, but, but Lori and I, we can kind of talk you through that. And we have a lot of resources that still work at the schools. Right, a lot of people reach out to us who are moving here and tell us their situation. And maybe they need a certain program for their kid. Maybe they want a language immersion program. Maybe they have older kids and they want, you know, some of the international baccalaureate programming or AP programming. You can use those greatschools.com or those websites all the time. Like we're here at Brighton School District. We're here at um, Horizon High School. It's a huge high school. Uh, One of my cousins went here. Yeah, so we're northern, east, north, wait, what are we? We're, we're eastern Denver, northeast Denver, so in the Brighton Public Schools. And so yeah. we'll put the map out there, but you know, look at like Denver Public Schools. Sometimes they get a bad rap, it just depends, but they also have great schools in there. Like, so, you know, Cherry Creek Schools are also some of those schools that are downtown. A lot of our clients love the Douglas County Schools. They have a like Rock Canyon High School. Those are always in the elementary schools that go in there. Uh -huh. If you live up north, my you know I have good friends Wild who County go to and, um, Erie. They have yep. a um, K through it goes all the way through the middle school there. And there's Brand not new high only schools. public they have schools. That outdoor um, live like what, out yeah, living, they, but they have like where the, the classrooms go outside and extend outside. So yep. a lot of different options. Um, here in the area reunion, we were just there yesterday. Um, you know, fabulous schools in reunion. Yep. They have a lot of families that walk to the school. The schools are built into their community. Um, so, 
Like, and that's a big deal, like, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, my questions when you're moving to the area is, you know, people will ask, well, what's great schools? Well, there's a lot of great schools. What does your lifestyle entail? Are you going to be transporting kids? Do you have 16 year olds that can already drive to school? Do you want it close to your work? Do you want uh, to be where schools are closer to your home? And so if we can kind of navigate through and filter down the areas that you're going to be working and living, we can point out um, some favorite schools in those areas or that maybe not even favorites the best word, but schools that have certain programs that may or may not appeal to you and your family. Englewood has their own school district. Littleton has their own school district. And so yeah. it's a really, you know, open-ended question as far as schools and the homes that are in those areas are beautiful. So little pockets here and there. So I guess the biggest thing is just to reach out and kind of tell us, you know, what you're looking for. What area of town? Is it close to a job? What are your children's needs? And we can help, you know, answer some of those questions as they come open. Sometimes, um, you know, you're like, my kid struggles with the organization. He needs someone to help him, you know, so maybe a good AVID program is something that you are looking for. So we can help direct you. I mean, it's not a blanket statement to say, this is the best school. This is the best district. Yeah. Um, that's really an unfair well, question, but we know it's an important check question. Check out their Facebook pages, check out their websites. Like schools are getting better at having, um, you know, their different programs on their website. See what kind of pictures they're putting of the kids that are going to homecoming. And you know, usually there's not a ton of pictures of kids actually doing it, but read about their different programs. Um, ask for a tour of a school. That's a big deal and I don't think a lot of people know they can do that. Even in the summertime, it's gonna be a little bit hit and miss until the secretaries and administration come back into the buildings. But usually around mid-July, beginning of August, you'll be able to go into those schools and actually have the principal or somebody right. at the school take you for a tour. Yeah. And you can get a feel for that school. You can you know, get a feel for not only the programs that they have, but what they, um, what their claim to fame for that building right. is. And I think sometimes we'll also look into, a, you know, a client will reach out and say, we want to live in a certain area. Well, let's look, has that school district passed mill levies? Have they passed, do they support their schools? I mean, Bonds. we have some really well off established areas that don't pass any mill levies and don't support their schools and they're really low funded. And so, so that makes a huge difference as well. Another thing, you know, if you have really young kiddos, do they have, um, you know, a, a pre-K program? Do they well, have full day some, kindergarten? Some pre-K and kindergarten are still, they're still tuition. Mm -hmm. And so if that's a big deal, like I remember we had to pay tuition. It was about $1,900 a year. Um, going from daycare to that price, I was happy. But if that is a concern, you know, maybe you find a school area um, or district that supplies that at no cost. And one thing that's unique about Colorado that sometimes I don't think people realize when they move in here is we have um, district of choice, school of choice. And so you can be in one area and you can choose if there's room to choice your child into mm -hmm. another school. So you don't have to live directly in those boundaries. But you sometimes. are responsible for getting them there. Correct. There's no so. buses that's going to come pick your, your kiddo no. up. Nope. And, and bring them there. So it, but that is something that's kind of unique. And sometimes that period opens up for choosing your kids in, usually kind of after the holiday season, like that January, January, February time. And so, you know, if you're looking at this and it's you're past that timeline, you know, reach out. We can kind of, we've reached out to schools before. We've arranged tours for our clients because we know that's a big part of moving so your kids. there is a caveat to that. We had one client who fell in love with a particular school. Yeah, she did. And... She, they didn't love the houses surrounding it. Yeah, there were two. And so what they had to come up with was were they going to choose the area specifically to put their kids in that certain school or is it really about their home life and the, I mean the other school they wound up at is still fantastic but it kind of took them a little while to uh, decide what outweighed the other. Yeah. So just part of the real estate transaction, especially if you have kids, um, some of these schools are K through 12 campus. And so like in my situation, kids at every level, that is a huge ease of life to know they're all at one building versus having three different drop-offs or whatnot. So we can talk you through those moving pieces if we don't know specifically, uh, just so you know in general how schools work and some people know this, some people don't, but there's usually, um, you know, 10, 12 different feeder elementaries that dump into one middle school. And then that middle school 
there's two or three middle schools that dump into a high school. So that's why high schools are typically larger in size because you have kids from 10 different elementaries, 12 different elementaries that now go to that high school. And so, I, I don't know, I don't yeah. think, some people don't understand that, and so, yeah, you know. But I think it's one thing that Kaylee and I really specialize in is, you know, the schools here in, like, Colorado in general, and Denver, and we, you know, we know what that's like to be in the schools, and it's something that we kind of pride ourselves on, is helping families go through that process of finding that right fit for you and your family. So I guess, you know, reach out whenever you have any questions. You know, I know home is a big part of it, but we know that schools, if you have kiddos, is right there either before that home or after that home as far uh -huh. as important. So um, call, text, whatever, give us a call. We love what we do, 720-438-4181. So when it comes to talking about schools, I think Lori and I are a great resource. So we each have three kids. We, um, it's very important to us and one thing that we found out, and we used to work at one of the school districts nearby, is that when looking at schools, yes, do your research, look online, look at many different websites. But what I would just say, there's good teachers everywhere, bad teachers everywhere, good admin, bad admin. My advice would be to check out the culture of the school. And by that, I mean, go to their web pages, ask, for a tour of the school, talk to the principal, talk to the secretaries. That really is the best way beyond programs to find out what the culture of the school is like and what's important to that building.